Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. For a radio audience tuning in at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all can be with us. Also, want to welcome our worldwide audience tuning in at iHeartRadio on Amazon Music. We're glad you all could be with us as well. This is part of our News You Can Use segment here at WYAD, and where today we're talking about something that a lot of you guys have already been hearing about, and that is about the triple threat that a lot of us are facing today in the country, especially as kids are heading back to school. So not only are we concerned, but doctors are worried about a triple threat amid a rising cases of COVID. Also, of course, we're talking about RSV and the flu as well. These are all expected to surge more as the warm months warm wind down and classrooms are filling back up. If you're interested in where you guys can get more information, but also how you can keep yourself safe, we have a great guest joining us today. We have Dr. Emily Volk with us. She's the president of the College of American Pathologists. She's going to talk to us not only about what you need to know to stay healthy, but also, of course, we can go for more information. Dr. Volk, thank you again for the time. Really appreciate it. Glad to be here, Cyrus. So this is something uh, for our radio audience, but also, of course, for all of us around the country, we all are hearing about Dr. Volk. So how can understanding which virus or infection you have help someone not only feel better faster, but also limit the spread? Well, information is always important when it comes to your health. Um, Certainly with the triple threat that you mentioned, uh, we have RSV, flu, and COVID-19 contributing to increasing hospitalization since July. So as we go into flu season, uh, it really is important for folks to understand when they do get sick, what is the virus that's causing them to be sick? Such a great point. Well, I know recently, of course, uh, the new COVID booster shots were approved. So I want to ask you this, Dr. Vogel, as we're talking about COVID, why is staying up to date with the vaccine so important, as well as educating ourselves about the vaccine? Well, you know, COVID-19 is doing what viruses like to do, and that's mutate. And so as that virus changes, our vaccines need to change, too. And so these booster shots keep up with the latest variants of the virus to keep us healthy. Uh, So by getting that booster, you're really preventing yourself from being hospitalized in the next couple of months uh, and getting seriously ill. We know these these vaccines work to keep people out of the hospital. Such an important point, and that's why I think the educational aspect is so important, Dr. Volk, and I appreciate you saying that. Now, there are things that we can do, of course, even as we see, of course, the cases of COVID and, of course, the flu and RSV may be rising, there are some things that we can do. Can you kind of share with our audience some simple hygiene tips um, that we can be able to do to to stay healthy? I I sure can. Um, You know, it's things that everybody already knows, uh, but I still have to remind my kids, uh, you know, you got to wash your hands. Uh, Hand hygiene really does keep us healthy, uh, and so that's really important, keeping hand sanitizer close by, Uh, can also be a useful tool. The other thing that's really helpful is if you are feeling sick or you you have underlying health conditions uh, that maybe make you a little bit extra vulnerable to flu, RSV, or COVID-19, using a mask uh, out in public can reduce your risk of either uh, getting sick or spreading what it is you might be uh, harboring. And again, that is part of our personal responsibility and things that we can do ourselves the other thing that we hear about are, are these these home tests, Dr. Volk. Can taking at home or laboratory tests, can that help prevent viruses from becoming another pandemic and spreading? Well, certainly uh, testing can help us understand what is causing our symptoms. Um, at home testing uh, is very useful. It's very convenient. Uh, but the thing about at home testing is it's really important to follow the instructions to the letter. So you've got to open that box. You've got to read those instructions and make sure that you're administering that test uh, according to those instructions. The other thing to keep in mind with at-home tests is they can expire. So it's good to look on the side of the box for the expiration date. Now, here's the thing. Uh, Some of these uh, at-home tests, the expiration dates, have actually been extended by the CDC. And so if you go to their website, cdc.gov, you can find uh, a list of tests 
where the expiration date has, has been extended. So even if you think your at-home test might be expired, before you throw it away, check that website. Mm. Love that. Great information, Dr. Volk. So glad to have you here. Give us some information that is accurate that can actually help our audience here. Again, everyone, for those who are just tuning in, you all have been listening to Conversations Live. This is part of our News You Can Use segment here. Today we're talking with Dr. Emily Volk. She's the president of the College of American Pathologists, helping you guys to uh, appreciate what's happening when it comes to the triple threat that we discussed here. COVID cases, rising, of course, RSV. And Dr. Book, where can our audience go for more information? Well, they can go to newsroom.cap.org for tip sheets that cover what we talked about today and even more. All right, Dr. Book, thank you so much for the great work that you're doing and for spending some time with us today and looking forward to speaking with you again. Thank you, Cyrus. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live, again, part of our News You Can Use segment here at WYAD, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Let's go make today amazing. Take care.